Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this, you want to learn how to make money in low income areas. Now, this isn't for every coach, but I know that a lot of coaches have asked me this. They that do live in low income areas and they ask me this question all the time. They'll say, you know, I don't think clients will pay a certain amount and I don't think I'll be able to charge this much. I get this sort of objection all the time from people that I've spoken with. And there's a disclaimer here. All right, so I'm gonna show you two things. Number one, I live in a really big city, all right? But a lot of clients that I've worked with before come from low income families, all right? So a lot of the kids that I've trained in the past will come from low income families and I'll find ways to accommodate them, all right? Second thing you need to know is a lot of coaches that I work with currently live in low income areas and they're still able to have a successful business and I'll break down how they do this, all right? So the thing that you have to know though, and this is so important, you can't work with low income families if you get uh, paid cash and check or Venmo, like if you're doing that, I promise you, you're going to hit a certain point in your business that you'll never be able to grow out of. And that is what most coaches do when, when I ask them that if they're living in a low income area, if they're servicing low income clients, uh, I'll ask them, well, how do you accept payment? And they'll always tell me, well, I do cash check, Venmo, cash app, whatever. Uh, and I always tell them, well, like, what if someone misses a session? Like, do you just not make money that day? And everybody says yes. Or what about on July 4th week or Christmas week or Thanksgiving week or, or all the holidays? Like, what if you don't see your clients? So all of these coaches that don't run automatic billing, they suffer. And so that is the key is you have to run automatic billing. And I've had people even tell me this before. They'll say, Ben, you know, clients won't get on automatic billing. And I always say, well, yeah, they will. Like, do they have Netflix? Do they pay an automated, uh, automatic phone bill? They, they pay their electricity? Like, they will do it, but you have set the standards low, so they'll meet you where your standards are at. So you have to be on automatic billing. That is, that is so important. If you don't do that, you'll hit a ceiling and you'll never grow out of that, all right? The second thing, it all comes down to pricing. Okay. And let me show you, let me show you something I did. I did this about eight years ago with a client. One of the parents told me that they couldn't afford it. All right. My program back then, uh, for the private training program was like $400 per month. They said they couldn't afford it. And I said, I said, okay, great. Let me, let me give you a call tomorrow and let me find a solution that will work for you. So what I did was I was like, well, you know, I'm sure this parent knows other parents. So maybe I can just have them train for free. And if I have them train for free, then there's zero objection to training my program because I've solved the money issue. And what I did is I went back to the parent. And I said, hey, um, I thought of a great idea and I know that I'd love to help you guys. And I've solved the problem of finances, which is I'm gonna let you guys do this for free, but here's how this is set up. We have to create a small group of five players and each player is going to, or each parent's gonna invest $150 per month all right, so I took five times 150, all right? That's 750, all right? So I got them to, to create their own group. Now I'm getting paid $750 per month, which is $350 more per month than I was gonna get from them um, that they couldn't pay, all right? So I got them in for free, and then I got them to recruit five other parents that, that did that. They did that for six months, all right? So I take 750 times six, that's $4,500. All right, so that is how I became creative with someone who could not pay anything. Like they, they wouldn't pay the amount that I, that I commanded. So I said, well, let's figure this out. And I set up a great deal with them, all right? So you can be really creative with people like that as long as you have your, your ducks in order, all right? And then the other thing I look at as far as pricing, you can have a very successful business, very, very successful business with group training. All right, where you're not working a lot of hours and you're charging across the board somewhere between 100 to 200 dollars per month and you could charge more than that in a low-income area because i have seen this firsthand i have seen coaches in low-income areas absolutely crush it that make six figures all right 
And it a lot of it comes down to how they get their clients to be committed. And they'll they'll offer things like upfront pricing for six months, upfront upfront pricing for a year at discounts, um, getting them to to bring more people in at, at a discount. Like so, you have to be creative with the pricing. But the reality is, all right, I'm just going to show you. If you have a program, let's say it's a hundred and actually, let's say it's two hundred dollars per month. All right, if you don't think you can charge two hundred dollars a month in your area, I can tell you you're you're thinking the wrong way. Right. If you do your research, I believe the average smoker in America who's addicted to cigarettes spends around one hundred and eighty dollars per month. So if you're targeting the wrong types of people, the wrong types of parents, I, it, this all comes down to the priorities that they have in their life. Right. If their priority is to to invest into their child, they will find the two hundred dollars per month. Like it's it's available. Like they'll cut certain things out of their life to make it happen. I've seen that happen with a lot of parents that I work with. They will sacrifice other things to invest into something that is great for their child. And again, this comes back to your program. Is your program something that they have to have in their life? And if that's the case, they will come up with the $200 per month. They'll come up with $400 per month, right? They'll come up with the amount of money as long as they value your program. So if they don't value your program, well, then they're not going to do it. It's not going to be worth it to them. If you want to make six figures in a low-income area, all right, if you're charging $200 per month, we need about uh, 43, 44 clients that are paying monthly. If you chop those, those kids into groups of 10, all right, you can have that in four or five sessions per week, all right? And if you have value outside of your session that is including your program, like $200 per month is absolutely worth it. Could you charge more than that? Yeah. Could you charge less than that? Yeah. But... Again, if it, this all comes down to how you want to operate, but you can do this in a low income area. I have seen coaches do it over and over and over again. And the only person that's really holding you back is yourself. And I can guarantee you that it's not going to be, well, they're not, pay, they're not going to pay on auto pay. That's false. That's false. They will. I see, I see, see it happening right now in, in, in real time with coaches that I work with that do live and work in low income areas. So I hope this helps you out. If you follow the steps that I talked about in this video, I think it's really going to, to give you a boost if you're looking to sell in low-income areas. All right, that's it. See you later.